The Elysian House is a sleek contemporary retreat designed for effortless relaxation and unforgettable entertaining. This mid-century modern inspired masterpiece also incorporates state-of-the-art sustainable features, demonstrating a commitment to eco-friendly living. This property has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, has over 7,400 square feet of living space, and is on a lot over a quarter acre. This property is listed at $7,988,000. My name is Sierra Schatz and welcome to our channel. Today we are in South Pasadena and we are very excited to show you this tour. But first and foremost, we'd love to thank the listing agent, Amir Jawaharian, at the agency. And we would especially love to thank the developer, Maison by PGB, for allowing us to tour his beautiful new construction. And this home was designed by IA Design Studio and developed by Maison by PGB. And today we are featuring this elegant Bentley Continental GTS. And as Bentley states, this GTS combines bold sports styling with an agile drive, resulting in a luxury grand tour with a thrilling edge. So let's head to the front of the home from what could be a six car parking space and check out how large this front yard is. You can have guests here, maybe throw a fire pit. You have additional bench seating there and you can just take in how tranquil this front yard is. Is. You have all this multicolored, water efficient landscaping, three olive trees, and right over here we have a Willard acacia tree that extends from the bottom to the top level of the home. And the green is returning, so we will be able to show you that later. You also have LED strip lighting around the soffits. And let me know in the comments if you notice this. What you have is a Lucabon aluminum sheet cladding. So essentially, your integrated uh, drain system is that aluminum. That is the uh, rain screen clip system. So you don't see any gutters protruding, but it adds a more seamless, clean look to this home. All right, let's head inside. And here we are on the inside of the home. You have these white oak floors all throughout and check out this about $20,000 bocce chandelier. So this took nearly about three weeks to install. And what you have above on the ocul somewhat oculus area are half inch steel plates and they fed the wiring for this chandelier through those hollow tube struts. So very elegant. Check out also how clear and open this space feels because they used this Starfire glass. So instead of that glass that has the green tint, they decided to spend the extra money. And you also have a view to your painting. And again, very open with the picture windows right here. And what you have around the exterior of the home is low e-glass. So that helps uh, with the solar heat gain. So it allows the internal temperature to be more stable and it helps with efficiency. So let's head into the kitchen space. This home also has a Lutron automated home system. And we'll come right over here. You have this Calcutta Reclusa honed Italian marble and you also have conveniently located outlets. And you have all this beautiful walnut millwork, seamless, plenty of storage space all around this kitchen. Above the edge, you have the strip lighting. You also have Milo appliances all throughout. You have this cooktop with your pot filler and you're pushed to open. Let's see if we get it. Push to open, fridge and freezer. <laughs> and right next door, you also have your prep kitchen with the same materials with the sink, additional counter space and additional storage. So we'll head right over here past other additional meal appliances, your oven, your microwave. And I wanna come down here into this mudroom space, sit down here by this picture window where you can enjoy your front yard. 
And also I like to point out that they flooded this area with con uh, the polished concrete as well. So sometimes you come in from your car, you have dirty shoes, you know, you wanna keep your nice floors clean so you can come here. And I would also like to point out that they put steel plates on their stair risers. So what do people do when they come to their house or they're walking up their stairs? Sometimes they kick the risers and it leads to wear and tear. So they decided to just make it more durable and add the steel plates. So we will walk past all this storage space, plenty of storage space, nearly this entire wall is storage. And we'll come over here to one of your wine spaces. And this is your formal dining area. You have this beautiful, elegant gold chandelier. And this right here, just this space can fit 300 bottles of wine. And this is two stories and it's climate control. So if you were to look down here, you can see the second area for all of this wine and you have 300 bottles again, and then 300 bottles downstairs. So hold 600 bottles of wine. So let's come right over here to what is your office space. And check out how open this floor plan is. We will finish at the pool later, but you have an area to hang out, really enjoy the sun, really enjoy your pool. You have these Fleetwood sliding glass doors. We'll give you a view of that in a little bit. And this door right here is special, because not only is it seamless, but it is held right here in this place by a magnet. So let's come out here, or come in here, and you have additional Fleetwood sliding glass doors that exit out onto your backyard. You can hang out there, enjoy your grassy space. Let's in an abundance amount of light in this area. And what you have here are these Italian Brexia uh, Capria honed marble countertops and these same additional walnut millwork. So mount your TV here, and this really opens up this space, this fixed, glass area and what this is called is butt glazing so instead of adding something here to obstruct your view they decided to just make it clear additionally opening up that space where you have a view to your light well in one of your bedrooms and that really blends the indoor outdoor feeling so if you're in here feeling cramped working all day it really just additionally opens it up so this is an ensuite would be great if this was also another bedroom because you do have your conveniently located bathroom and you have this narrow voltage honed Italian marble, but check it out. It extends across this entire wall space. You also have this darker large towel on the floor and on the wall of the shower. And what you have is a curbless entry, meaning this is seamless and you don't need to step over anything. So you have your handheld shower head in addition to your sh uh, regular shower head and this long shampoo niche. And let's step out of this glass shower and check out the size of this mirror. All of the mirrors in this home are custom glass and look at how profound it is. And you also have the LED lighting behind that gives it that floating effect. So let's head out of here and head downstairs the rest of the tour. So before we head downstairs, let's come back into this main living area and check out how profound this leathered soapstone fireplace wall is. You have this linear gas fireplace right here made by Da Vinci and you can even maybe put any plants or any additional sculptures right here. And this is a pass-through fireplace, meaning if you were to look through, you can see your guest sitting on the other side. So also let me know in the comments if you guys recognize this couch. And I'd love to hear if you guys can guess right, but very elegant, very classy, but also has its own style. So let's come down this way and we're going to come through this somewhat hall area. What I like the uh, utilize the space is it somewhat compartmentalizes the other areas of the home. And again, they use that starfire glass. So it's very clear and they did the same butt glazing. So let's head into this powder room real quick. You have additional space right here and you have this Italian lilac marble floating vanity that extends all the way from the floor to ceiling of this area. And the way that they install this is they have these steel struts sticking out of the wall. So they're essentially these fingers sticking out of the wall. Put this here, assemble it. And you also have another large architectural mirror with this LED strip lighting illuminating that also illuminates right here in this area. And you have a seamless or a hidden drain design. So let me turn on this Briso water fixture just to show you how that flows. So I'll head out here and we'll finally head downstairs. And here we are on the bottom floor of this home. And let's just check out that chandelier view from this area. You have all that clear starfire glass, but look at beneath or underneath the stairs. They also added wood. So that was just a very thoughtful detail they decided to add. So let's come down here into one of your hangout areas. And I'm going to show you this real quick. So these are 3D printed and they're attached. <laughs> 
via a magnet. So just something interesting, some interesting construction engineering detail. So you can hang out here, maybe this is a study area, and you also have this exterior door that leads to what is your Zen garden area. And you have that Willard acacia tree that is coming back to life. And right here, you have this underground sump pump system that collects the gray water and then ties it into the water reclamation system. And something I'd love to give the developer credit for is instead of having those water collection barrels is he installed a fully integrated water reclamation system. So what that does is it collects the gray water and then it, re it filters and reuses it to maintain the site. So watering the plants, sprinklers, irrigation, all that good stuff. And here is another sliding glass door that comes out into your Zen area that leads into your spa space. And we'll get to that in a moment, but let's head back inside. Coming back into one of your seating spaces, I would also like to revisit this area right here. You have these fixed picture windows that look into your Zen area and you have this light well. So we are below grade right now, but all this ambient light is flowing into this space. So although it's cozy, it still feels very open and bright. So let's head over this way. You have on your entertainment bar, you have this princess Italian marble. And if you were to look closely, you can see all the shining that is happening in that. So nice extra detail. You also have your sink and that same walnut millwork and you have Phoenix cabinetry. And on this entire bottom floor, you have polished concrete. So let's head into that spa area and check out how large the steam shower is. So you can close both of these doors and adjust your dial right over there and just hang out here and absorb that steam. And let me know what you think in the comments about this stone color. So personally, I think it's pretty bold to use a natural green stone without it looking maybe a little tacky. However, this is very elegantly and tastefully done. So you have this very green double hone Italian marble all in this shower and it also matches this countertop space right here. So if we come over here, this is what we saw earlier, is that other sliding glass door into your Zen area. So maybe you can put a fountain out there, open up the door and you have your massage table here and you're just relaxing. And lastly, I'd like to point out, this is another architectural mirror. So this is custom cut. And again, this is not just hung up, this is actually installed. All right, you guys, so let's head this way through this frosted glass door. Oh, actually one more thing. So they actually were going to turn this into a sauna, but they decided to use it as a flex space instead. So you could possibly make it a sauna or another laundry room or even a storage space. So let's head through your large frosted glass door into your home gym. So you have some storage space there with strip lighting and this entire wall is glass. And right here we have a concrete formed foundation wall and they left this exposed to give more of a rugged industrial look. So, let me see, <laughs> these are 50 pounds. Uh, Brian was able to do it earlier, no problem, but let's see if I could do a 50 pounder. <laughs> I do go to the gym, but I don't do this. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's come over here. You have plenty of space for your yoga mats. They also install these picture windows so you can let in light so it's not too closed in. And let's head this way through your very large, clear pivot glass door. And to my left, you have another hangout area. So you can mount your TV here, watch the game. I know Super Bowl is coming up, so let me know who you got in the comments. You also have your second wine fridge space with that clear glass. So you have access to 300 bottles of wine right here. And let's direct the attention to the ceiling real quick. So you have these linear air conditioning vents and you have speakers because this entire house is wired for sound. And if we look at the recessed lights, they're not your typical can lights. They have somewhat of a, uh, this flange apparatus special design beneath the surface. And you also have the black interior detail. So let's pop back up and check out how they utilize this space. Very large piece of, pieces of artwork throughout this entire home. And let's come right over here past your pool table real quick into your vaults. Well, your safe room through your big vault door. And in here you have your own heating, AC, ventilation, and your security system. So you have 12 inch concrete walls with steel plates. So very durable. Maybe this is where you put your, you lock your sibling in when they're bothering you. <laughs> Bye. No, so let's head back out. And let me test my luck on this pool shot. I'm not particularly good at pool, but let's see. Hopefully I don't get a scratch or maybe I get a few in. 
All right, here we go. One, two. Oh my gosh. I didn't get a scratch though, so that's good. So let me put this back. Actually, I'll put this right here. And you have additional storage space over there to my left. Another TV if you want to watch any sports, watch the Super Bowl. And let's head over here to one of your bedrooms. You can mount your TV here and you have all this closet space on this wall right here. You do have an ensuite bathroom that has all of this beautiful, elegant, natural stone. You have your floating vanity and extra large mirror. And let's come out here into your sunken garden area. So this serves as a dual purpose as an exterior area where you can enjoy, but you also have your safety ladder here for your egress. So let's head back inside, very large potted plant. Let's head back inside, but that light well allows a bunch of natural light to flood into this downstairs area. And let's head across this hall real fast into that other bedroom. So you have another ensuite bathroom. And if you look through that space, through that glass, you can also see that sunken garden area. So let's head outside and let's head back upstairs to the top level of the home. And here we are on the top level of the home. Here's that top view of your chandelier. And again, you have low E glass in this home that helps with the solar heat and keeping the internal temperature down. And check out this view to the front yard, your olive trees and the hilltop. And here is the top of that Willard acacia tree and is really starting to come back to life with all of that greenery. So let's head straight ahead into this other hangout space. And in here we have another family hangout area. You can mount your TV here. You have all this walnut storage space. And above your seating area, you have cove lighting. Now let's come out here onto your composite deck through your sliding Fleetwood glass doors. And out here you have a bar space with a sink. You have two beverage fridges and trash. And check out the view of the hillside in your backyard through this unobstructed glass. And let's come underneath this cantilever area. So you have all this abundance of light in this space. And this is a pretty big area. As you can see, you can fit a lot of outdoor furniture, maybe even throw a fire pit. But what we are on is a composite deck. And one way this helps with sustainability is if you were to use a typical or typical wood for your decking, you would have to replace it more often. It's more susceptible to wear and tear and the emissions, time and energy that goes into it with replacing a wood deck is greater than what is right here. And right here, you have aluminum wrapped with GLM composite wood. And this is longer lasting, so you'll spend less time, energy and emissions replacing this. So let's head back inside. And I would like to point out this design aspect of this home. You have a reveal here around the edges, so it gives that floating effect. And they also added it near the floor and around the doorways. So let's head down this hallway. And check out the abundance of light in the space. You have all of these skylights above. And right here, this is you have to have this per code, but what you have is a full commercial alarm system that is tied into the fire and security agencies. And you also have a fire suppression system throughout this house. So let's come into this bedroom right here. So you have all the storage space here, but if you look straight ahead, you also have a new construction by the same developer. So you have these new houses that are on this block and we'll come right out here across the way into another bedroom and check out the abundance of light in the space. You also have a view to the city and the neighborhood and all of that greenery. And this home's solar aspect brings the house to net zero, meaning it covers the full amount of the property's energy, even at peak performance. And there's also a full battery backup system so you can go completely off the grid. You have this custom closet and we all come this way into the shared bathroom. And check out this beautiful light colored stone in here, a very open bathroom. You have this chepa degree dolomitic sedi sedimentary stone that floods all on this floor on this side of the wall. You also have a light wall here that lets in abundance of light. You have a regular and handheld shower head, bench seating, and a floating vanity here with another custom large architectural mirror. So great lighting. Let me know in the comments what you think. And let's head out this way and open this very large pivot door to your primary suite. And we'll come right over here to your walk-in closet. You have a pocket door and you have M-Tech door hardware throughout this house. You have this dark wood with this frosted glass space and you have a skylight above with natural light that floods this area. So let's head back out of here. You have another trellis design to create additional privacy. And here is your main sleeping area, very bright and light totally floods the space. You have all the storage above 
and two light fixtures. And imagine just waking up here every single day. You have another pass-through fireplace with that leathered soapstone. So you can just mount your TV here and just come relax and unwind after a long day. So you do have your own private balcony and you have two pivot large glass doors on each side. So let's step outside. And here we are outside on your composite deck and you have this cladding right here on your fireplace. And check out this unobstructed view of the pool and your fire pit and the hillside because you have such clear glass. And today is an extraordinarily beautiful day in mid-January in South Pasadena. So very nice, we are getting this light breeze and you have another entrance or exit back inside and this one leads to your primary bathroom. So you come out here, come back inside. You have your water closet right over here and you also have this dark large towel on the floor. But check out this Calcutta Verde Green Italian honed marble all throughout this area. Sweeps around nearly the entire space and it matches your vanity countertop and wall area right here. You also have a large architectural mirror here and you have that walnut millwork around this design. Now let's come over here and sit on this freestanding tub. And you have this unique vent design above. So you can hide the vent. It's a little bit more inconspicuous. And you also have a window right here, a frosted glass window that is letting in more natural light. And in your glass shower, you have an additional light well. But if you look near the light well, you also have a therapeutic shower head that has sound and light. And you also have a regular and handheld shower head. So very tranquil, relaxing. And we will finish the remainder of the tour downstairs. Hey you guys, welcome back to the entry level of the home. Check out this large sliding glass door space that disappears into your fireplace. This really blends the indoor outdoor feeling that this home has. So let's step outside onto your composite decking and you have your grill space here. So you have countertops, you have a large grill and an additional space right here. You have a beverage fridge, a sink, and check out all of these potted plants that really help with the privacy of this home. You can't see it, but be behind this is an additional storage space on this house. And look at how large this is. I mean, you can probably fit maybe two tables or an even larger table, maybe even throw another fire pit. However, you are right here next to your pass-through fireplace that we saw earlier that you can sit here, hang out with some guests. And let's come over here on two what is that integrated drain system that I mentioned earlier. And what we have here is a raised deck with prefab stone tiles on a pedestal system. And you have a concrete subject below. And the purpose of this is to hide all area drains. So let me open this up. Very large sliding glass Fleetwood doors. And I can give you the view of the interior again that we saw earlier. And in this backyard, you have grass space which is great for any kids or pets you have a 45 by 18 salt salt water infinity edge pool a baja shelf and a spa and if we come back over here you have this recessed fire pit area plenty of space for guests and if you check this detail out you have this concrete board formed somewhat looks like a stamp but it somewhat also emulates that natural wood design and you have that on your planters and lastly look at how extravagant and super cool these succulents are. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. And that concludes our tour. Thank you for watching. We appreciate any comments, likes or subscribes. Again, I'm Sierra Schatz and stay tuned.